Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're having a good day. I just thought I would pop on and do my makeup with you guys. Everything I need for my entire face is all in this palette. I am a Saint Beauty artist. I have worked with this company for almost three years. I've been using their products for three years and I absolutely love them. Um, and it's basically your entire makeup bag in one palette. So it's customizable makeup. All of the tins are magnetic. If you've never seen this stuff before, this is how it works. You can get a color match. I would be happy to color match you. I have a link in my bio or on lovealwayslaura.com. And then I would help you um, pick out your shade. So like your concealer, your foundation, your contour, your bronzer. I've got color correctors here, lip liner, a few different lip and cheek colors like your blush and your lipstick. I've got quite a few of them actually in the back. So something for everybody's like taste and personal preferences. And I even have eyeshadows in here so I can do my entire face of makeup using this one palette. So if at any time while I'm getting ready this morning, I thought I'd pop on and get ready with you you wanna try this makeup, um, it is in the link in my bio. Okay, first thing, I'm gonna do something that I don't often do. I've been pretty fortunate lately to have some pretty good skin. Um, not, aw, thank you, Sophie. Um, not often does this happen, but in the last few months, I've been really working on my skin and it's been really improving. I do have a few scars, um, but I still get you know under eye dark circles, and the odd blemish. So I'm gonna show you how to color correct. Now I'm like, where is my brush? I'm gonna use my finger because I can't find the brush I wanna use. So when we see red, okay, so here's obviously a pimple. When we see red, according to the color wheel, according to color science, you're gonna wanna use um, something with a green undertone. So this is actually a contour color, but you can see it has a green base. So Aspen is something that I would recommend for you. If you had, um, you can see how it's got like a green undertone there. If you had excess red in your face. So for me, acne, you know, uh, a zit that is just raging <gasps> um, and is still vibrant red you're gonna wanna neutralize the excess red with a green. And so that is why I'd recommend Aspen for someone. If you have uh, um, rosacea, maybe you just carry a lot of redness in certain areas of your face, like your cheeks, that's super common. You can just neutralize and use, I'm like, why do I not have my brushes? Here's the brush I wanted. You can just use a light fluffy brush and say I had like a lot of excess red here, you could just take a bit of that Aspen and neutralize that red using Aspen, okay? A light layer before you do your makeup, okay? So that is a hack for when you're seeing red. Red, use Aspen. Okay, now let's talk about under eyes because it's a very common one. Um, I am gonna neutralize my under eyes today using the color Frenchie. It's a lip and cheek color. I love recommending Frenchie for your under eyes, especially if I see blue. So under eyes can either be blue or purple, typically an undertone, blue or purple. So when you see blue underneath that little, um, under, underneath your eye, your under eye, it's because we lose volume in our face with age. And so they become more prominent. The skin underneath our eye is the thinnest skin on the face. And so that's why that undertone really shines through. But when you see blue, according to the color wheel, you're gonna wanna use orange. Now the cool thing about having Frenchie in your palette is it's a lip and cheek color. So I can use it as my lipstick and I can also use it as my blush. Maybe I'll use it as my blush today too. But all you're gonna wanna do is take a little bit of Frenchie See how you can already see how it's neutralizing that blue? It's just going to counteract that blue. I've got blue in the inner corner of my eye too. And what this does is it means you actually can wear less makeup. So that's what color correcting is. It's using the color wheel and color science to neutralize any excess color you have in your face so that you don't have to wear as much makeup. <laughs> because if you just start caking on concealer and you start putting a lot of light and bright underneath your eyes, as we mature, look at those fine lines and wrinkles that I have. Light and bright is just gonna accentuate fine lines. So you don't wanna be doing layers and layers of concealer or like your brightening highlight because that is just going to accentuate your fine lines. Okay, does that make sense? So um, if you need help with color correction, whether it is you know acne, whether it is rosacea, redness, 
It could be hyperpigmentation. It could be age spots. It could be sunspots. Um, it could be melasma. It could be your under eyes. Whatever excess color you see on your face that you're having difficulty neutralizing using traditional makeup, I can help you with this palette. And you can have your entire face of makeup still in this, this palette here, okay? So that is, I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna do the other eye just so we're not like neutralizing. You can see the blue here. Um, just so we're not like neutralizing color on one side and not <laughs> and not on the other. So let's, and when I, when you fill out my color match form, I do ask this on your form. Um, is there any, you know, excess color in your skin that you want to neutralize? And then I give you those examples like sunspots, age spots, dark circles, whatever it might be, rosacea, acne. So I do ask you suggestively for that on your color match form, but I will also recommend if I'm noticing something on your face, um, then I will recommend like an optional color corrector for you. But otherwise I'm traditionally, when I color matching you, I'm color matching you to like your foundation, your concealer, your contour, your bronzer. Color correctors in my palette here. I have my lip liner. I have a few lip and cheeks, which is awesome because my Frenchie is also a lip and cheek. I've got tons of other lip and cheeks here and eyeshadows. So you can build your palette as big or as small as you want. If you want to just start with the basics, like these four colors and pick like one lip and cheek. So you just have your foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, and a lip and cheek. You can totally do this. This is one of my smaller palettes. Okay, so foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, a few lip and cheek options. We even have littler guys. I don't love this palette, the four palette, because I'm always like, it's missing bronzer. You need bronzer. So um, anyway, you can totally build your makeup bag or your makeup palette to your wants and needs. What if the color we are matched to doesn't match when we receive our palette? We have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So we have a 30-day return policy. Um, and then we also have a 30-day shade swap. So if it's just a matter of like, say you grabbed all these tins and it's just a matter of um, you're like, hey, Laura, I need a darker contour. Then you could just swap the contour color within that first 30 days to get to get it right. You know, so um, we do have a 30 day money back guarantee and we also have the shade swap program. So I am going to do my makeup now that I've just like talked a bit about color correction because I never talk about color correction. I figured I would just do a little video this morning and um, let you know that I can help you with any excess color in your skin. Now you do wanna fill out your color match form or ask me if you are a customer, just because like depending on your undertone, like I'm obviously fair to medium <laughs> at best, but fair skin tone. So my color corrector might be a different color corrector than someone with a warmer complexion. If you have a super warm complexion, Frenchie might not be the right undertone um, for your eyes, like color corrector for your eyes, because you might need something a little more pigmented. We could still stick in the orange, you know, orange undertone, but it might need to be a little more vibrant in order to neutralize any excess color in your skin. So that is why um, when I color match someone, I'm really looking at their undertone, whether they're light, medium, or darker in, under, in, in complexion. There's so many things that are taken into consideration when we pick a color corrector and when we just pick, pick your entire, your color match. <laughs> um, so I have color matched thousands of ladies. I do this full time. I've been doing this for three years. So um, heck, I've seen thousands of faces just this year alone. So I am happy to, to recommend colors that I'm certain will work for you. How much for a palette like the one in your hand? Hey babe, so it's totally customizable. You purchase the tins individually. I don't even know how much I would, I don't even know. But most people, like this has 12 lip and cheek colors in it, like three here and nine here. Like most people wouldn't start with 12 lip and cheek colors. And then I've got eyeshadows in the back. Um, but you purchase the tins just individually. So it's totally up to you. Like I have people that literally will start and spend $500 and have tons of lip and cheek options, tons of eyeshadow options. And then I have people that will start and spend like $56 um, and just get like four tins, you know, just get their basic foundation, concealer, contour, and a lip and cheek. Where did you get your nails done? Oh my gosh, I am actually going for a nail appointment in one hour. My appointment is in one hour. Um, my husband's my husband's brother is getting married this weekend, so I have to get my nails done. It's also been three weeks since my appointment, so they've grown out. Um, but I just go to a local place. A gal does my nails. Okay, so foundation. This is, I don't call it foundation. So we actually call this on your color match form, like your main highlight. And what do I mean by main highlight? I mean, um, 
the reason why we don't call it foundation, although it is like closest to what you probably would know as foundation, but we don't call it foundation because with traditional foundation, this goes all over your face. This goes all over your face, but you actually end up wasting a lot of product because then you start to layer other things on top, like your bronzer, like your blush, like your contour, if you contour already. So then you're starting to change the undertone, whereas this makeup, everything goes on in one layer, okay? And we're gonna blend it out. I promise it's gonna look good. Um, but you, it's gonna go on in one layer and um, we're not actually creating texture because we're not having to layer things on top of each other, right? Um, whereas this, you start to layer things on top of each other, you can get texture, um, you can get cakiness. So um, with this makeup, we're not doing that. I just got that on my, on my nose. I actually, my nails are a little like too long right now to be doing this type of application. <sighs> yes, thanks Kayla. Hey Kayla. Um, okay, so you guys. Look at my nails. They're just too long. Okay, I'm excited to get them done. Anyway, I'm putting my brightening highlight through the center of my face, okay? And the good thing is, is like, you don't have to be super skilled at this makeup. It can actually kind of be sloppy, and I swear it's going to turn. It's going to come together. I swear. You're, it's going to blow your mind. I like to sometimes put, too, a bit of my brightening highlight down my jawline. Just because if you're anything like me, you can see the undertone in my skin and my face. I carry a lot of redness in my face. And then my neck is super pale, right? That is why one color of foundation all over your face isn't actually conducive to most people because your skin is going to be different in undertone in different areas of your face. Some people carry a lot of warmth on their forehead. They're more pale. I'm more pale along my jawline and my neck. So you actually need to cater to your routine to like what is going on in your face. Um, and so I just like to take a little hack of mine is to take a bit of that brightening highlight and run it along my jawline too, just so I don't look like a bobblehead. I don't have like dark foundation on my head and then a super pale neck, you know? Um, okay, so I'm going to take a bit of bronzer, my Bella bronzer, add a bit of warmth to my face. Okay, just on the high points, right? Contour goes in the hollows of our face, whereas bronzer goes on top of our face where the sun would hit. Contour goes in the hollows of my cheekbones. And then I'm gonna use the color Watermelon. It's this bright pink color. It's actually a gloss. So it's not gonna be as pigmented on the skin. It smells so good. It's literally like, like a watermelon. It they're supposed to mimic lip smackers. So you guys know what lip smackers are, like back what we used to wear when we were in the 90s and the 80s. Um, these, we have a new collection that just came out with like a bunch of bright, bright colors. And this is one of them, it's called watermelon, but it's a gloss, they're all glosses. So they're not, they look crazy on the website, they look crazy in the tin. Actually, here's another one of them, which is cherry, but they're not as like vibrant on the the skin okay because they're glosses so just so you know um our satins are going to be here actually i'm going to mix i'm going to mix a bit of sandstone with that our satins are a little more pigmented than our um glosses so if you're looking for something with a lot of pigment you're going to want to look at satins if you're looking for something that's a little more sheer you're going to want to look at a gloss and our lip and cheeks can be worn on your lips and your cheeks okay um where did you get the necklace? Oh my God, what is it called? I can't remember what the company's name is called. Oh, I feel so bad. Um, okay, should we start blending this out? Sandstone is life. Yes, sandstone is so pretty, you guys. This is like one of my go-tos, especially in fall and winter. It's like so pretty for girls night, wine night, date night, holiday parties. It's not like a vibrant red it is like a soft muted satin red it's really pretty um so if you don't have sandstone in your palette you're gonna you're gonna want it come september you're gonna want it um okay i'm like where is my brush you guys know me <laughs> i'm always like where is my brush so let's start blending i'm gonna blend light to dark and we're just gonna blend this out Oh, I didn't put any foundation over top of my, my little, my little friend. 
<laughs> my little pimple. So I will go back in because I didn't put any, I put my color corrector there. I put my Aspen color corrector over top of that zip, but now I'm just gonna stipple my foundation over top. Just because like when you neutralize excess color with a color corrector, you don't wanna then go and start like swiping things away, right? Same with like underneath my eye. So we're gonna blend underneath my eye. I'm just gonna tap underneath my eye. One, obviously the skin underneath and around your eye is super sensitive and delicate, so you wanna be careful. But two, I put that Frenchy color corrector underneath my dark circles. So you actually don't see a ton of my dark circles right now because I've already, if you're just popping on, I've already neutralized that. I color corrected the, the blue undertone underneath my eye. But obviously when you color correct, like that's not the, that's not the color that you want your skin to be. So you would put your foundation or your concealer over top of your color corrector. Does that make sense? Um, so I'd already color corrected that undertone underneath my eye. And then I just take a bit of my brightening color, which is like your concealer and put it over top. So if you need help with color correctors, like I said earlier, I would be happy to recommend colors that will work for your skin tone, your undertone. And that can be anything from like acne, rosacea, redness, under eye dark circles, hyperpigmentation, um, age spots, sunspots, all of the joys, all of the joys. Hey, Mackenzie, Mackenzie says, I love this makeup. I just got it a week ago and I'm obsessed. Yay. Yay. That's so awesome, Mackenzie. I'm glad you're loving it, girl. Yeah. If anyone wants to build your own palette, what's going on? If you want to build your own palette, it is on the link in my bio. You just tap my profile picture, tap it one more time. You'll end up on my main profile. And then you can see I've got pre-built palettes. So you can just check out and buy a pre-built palette if you want. You can color match yourself. Or if you totally want to customize and build your own palette, then I would be happy to help you do that. I use a different brush here just because I'm using a bright color. Um, and and you can totally build your own palette so you can pick your own colors. I just switched to the blush and bronzer brush just because I'm using like a bright red <laughs> and I still need to blend the rest of my face. So I don't want to have like so much red to go blend in the other parts of my face, if that makes sense. How long is shipping? Cuppy cake. Um, so shipping is generally really quick. Um, anyone who orders today, their order would go out today or tomorrow at the absolute latest. If you ordered last week, there was a few um, people that had said their couriers were a little late. So if you're in the States, it is UPS. If you are in Canada, it's Canada Post or FedEx, depending on where you are. Um, but with Amazon Prime days last week, I think the couriers or um, the shipping companies were a little inundated with a lot of orders, a lot of Amazon orders. So um, things, it seemed at least, were a little slower last week by like an extra day or two. Okay, now a little hack here. If you've over blended your contour, you can just take a bit of your brightening highlight and just go back in and brighten up that jawline to give a little more definition to your cheekbone. Now this is optional. I say that because like we're all so different, right? Makeup is actually a very personal thing. Some people are gonna want a really defined cheekbone. Some people are gonna want a little bit brighter, you know, blushes, right? They're gonna want more pigmentation in their blushes. Everyone is just so different. And so for me, I like my definition on my cheekbone to be a little more defined. Um, I have a really round face, so I'm really looking for the extra help in that lifting of that feature um, and making my face appear a little less round to having that dimension in my cheek that I don't really have. So I like my my contour to be a little more defined here. So that's a little hack if that's something, if, you know, if you have a round face and you're similar to me. Um, you can, that's how contour can help us, right? So contour, I also see put down underneath my jawline too. I don't find this step as necessary for me, but I like to show it because some people will have a little extra skin underneath their jawline. And from this side, it almost gives you the appearance of a double chin. So when we contour underneath our jawline, that is actually just going to enhance our shadow, our natural shadow that one naturally has, because that's what contour does. It enhances a natural shadow. And it's just gonna make that jawline a little more pronounced and enhances that shadow there and make it so that you don't appear to have as much of a double chin. Um, were you guilty for ordering Amazon Prime Day? Yes, I was. <laughs> um, da -da -da -da. 
Jen says, I've been using this for a couple weeks, talking color correction. I have dark sunspots. What would be good to cover those? Jen, if you're a client of mine, um, you have my, my email and you have my phone number, send me a message so I can go back and look at your color match selfie. Reason being is I could generally say you're going to want something with like an orange or a pink, pink undertone when you're color correcting sunspots. Sunspots are actually in freckles, so darkness in the skin, right? Like if we have clusters of freckles, hyperpigmentation, they're actually generally green in undertone. I know we look at them in the skin and we see brown, but generally speaking, they have a green undertone when, when we're talking color theory and the color wheel. And so when we see green in the skin, you want to use generally pink, um, but it depends on how warm your skin tone is if we need to use something a little more orange in order to neutralize it. So that's why I always say to my customers, um, if you're wanting to color correct anything on your skin, write it in your color match form. I will recommend a color corrector for you. And then, um, if you are one of my color, one of my customers, just message my color match phone number or my, um, my, da, 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 my email, and I will tell you what will work specifically for you. I need the same for my rosacea. Hey, Britt. Okay, so for rosacea, that's usually a pretty safe bet is to recommend aspen. Reason being is a lot of the time rosacea is, is carried in skin that is lighter in undertone. Um, it's less, com rosacea is very much less common in warm complexions. It's more us gals with the fair skin that will see rosacea. So if you have rosacea, you can likely, Britt, you can use aspen which is a contour color. It's got a green undertone and that will cut the red in your skin. I did use Aspen at the beginning of this tutorial, tutorial to neutralize red in a pimple. I have a pimple here. Um, so I, I neutralized the red there. And the reason why you wanna color correct and neutralize excess color in the skin is because you actually get to wear less makeup when you do that. It is an extra step and it's optional, obviously. You could just put your makeup routine over not, over top of, you know, rosacea, over top of dark circles, whatever it might be, hyperpigmentation. Um, but when you color correct and neutralize excess color first, then just use your routine, you're going to have less layers because you're not going to have to cake on concealer, cake on foundation in order to cut that color. You're actually treating color with color, which is going to work way better than it will be with just a foundation. I happen to have Aspen here. Perfect. Yay, Britt. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I know normally if someone, you know, fills out my color match form and I saw two ladies fill out my color match form while we were on here. So generally if someone fills out my color match form, I, and I see that they carry a lot of redness in their cheeks or something, I will just recommend that on my reply to them so that they, um, so that they can grab it if it's something that they want to, they want to do. And I don't often talk about color correction on here because I never want to overwhelm people. Um, it's totally optional, obviously. And for most people that are looking to use this makeup routine, they're here because they don't know much about makeup, right? And um, makeup does not have to be complicated. It does not have to be um, overwhelming. But you can learn how to do a really pretty natural face of makeup and clearly not have much skill, right? Like, look at this to this super natural like isn't that really pretty like very natural looking I've lifted my cheekbones I've added some warmth for summer I don't look really super pale I've added some pigment into my face I've neutralized the excess color and it looks really natural and it was super affordable but it's still really clean high quality ingredients at a great price that is one thing I do feel good about is our price points. Um, my old routine, you guys, these are, these, I share these products because they literally were what I used before this makeup three years ago. This blush is a blush from Tarte. And I can now buy three lip and cheek options for the price that I paid for this one blush. So now I have three, not only three different options of blush, but three lip colors as well for what I used to pay for my one blush. It's like, ah, it's linked in her bio. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Kayla. Yeah, so if you want to try this makeup, guys, or get a color match, I did see another color match come through. Um, just tap my profile picture here. Tap it one more time. You'll land on my page. That is where you can get a color match, and you can totally build your own palette. I will tell you what will work for your skin tone. And then this is what I mean when I say build. Like, they're magnetic tins. They pop in and out of your palette. And you get to pick 
you know, obviously you're going to want foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, the basics, but you can pick color correctors. I'll recommend for you. You can pick as many. Some people start with one lip and cheek. Some people start with six lip and cheeks. Some people start with, um, eyeshadows. It's all up to you. Like, you can grow your collection over time as your budget allows, you know, grab a few things now and then grab a few more lip and cheek colors for fall, like more fall appropriate colors. So, hey, Lindsay, just got here. What palette is that? Yes, this is my Saint palette. Thanks, Kayla. It's in the link in my bio. Will we ever ship to UK? I don't, I, I do think we will, but I don't know that it'll be anytime soon, unfortunately. We are a U.S. company. Um, our company is still solely owned by Kara. Kara Brooke is a beauty blogger. She created this on her um, blog years ago and then took it to Instagram. It sold out like crazy. And then she started sharing this program to women like me who can now share it on social media as well because she just couldn't keep up on her blog. Um, and... Um, She's still 100% her and her husband own this company. They're still the, you know, 100% owners. And they do have dreams of taking this internationally. I feel like I'm getting darker. They do have dreams to take this internationally. But, um, but yeah, right now we are... We started in the U.S. in 2017 and 2019. We came to Canada. I'm hoping by, like, the five-year mark we'll be, um, be international. But we're just growing, right? Like, that's why um, this makeup is... It's exploding here on TikTok and on Instagram and stuff. So you've maybe seen it before, but it is like revolutionary. And I think cream makeup is actually becoming more revolutionary. So Kara created this in 2013, so almost a decade ago. And it's a cream-based product. So it's all cream makeup. And you're probably seeing a lot of companies coming out with cream products now, like cream contour sticks, cream bronzer, cream blush, cream eyeshadows. You're, you're starting to see the trend towards cream. And that is just because people are recognizing the benefits of cream. Okay, so liquids and powders, especially if you have dry maturing skin. So if you have a dry complexion or combination skin tone, or you just have skin that's over 35, your skin is starting to get more dry with age. And when you use a liquid, which is a water-based product on your hands and on your face, we know that water dries out our skin, right? So a lot of people are not wanting to use liquids anymore. And that's why a lot of cosmetic companies are switching to cream products and introducing those into their lines. Whereas this has been around for cream for forever. Same with powders. We obviously know powders dry out your skin. So that being said, if you have oily complexion, you know, if you're in your 20s or 30s and you have an oily complexion, you can still wear this product. You just want to set it with a powder. I actually, there was someone on my live here yesterday that was like, I have, I have an oily complexion and I've been using Saint and my face is actually getting less oily with time the more she's using it. It's been like two, three weeks, she said, because your skin often is producing more oil when you're using drying products because it's trying to keep up. And that can actually cause skin texture and skin issues. I used to have psoriasis on my eyelids. I used to have a lot more acne, but my face is actually clearing up because I'm not, it's not in overdrive. It's not constantly like reacting. I actually was thinking of this yesterday too. It's like your hair, you know, hairdressers are always like, stop washing your hair every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, spread out your washes, try and wash your hair every three to four days because it's better for your hair, you know? It's the same kind of concept. Um, using something that's drying on your skin, your skin is working in overdrive. And that's why people, when they're like, well, I have to wash my hair every day because it's too oily. It's like, but you're, you're, you're causing that reaction. When your face is oily, it's likely be a, a byproduct of what you're doing to it, right? You're putting products that are drying on it and it's having to work in overdrive to produce that oil. Whereas over time, and same concept with like with your hair, the less you wash your hair, the less oil it's gonna produce if you have an oily skin, not using drying products on it, it's going to produce less oil. Yes, it's really interesting. I know it's like, but so it's always like a trust the process kind of thing. So when I'm like, when I have an oily skin gal client, that's like, I want to use this, but I have oily skin. I'm like, girl, set it with a powder for two, three weeks. I swear by the end of the two, three weeks, you're going to be like, yeah, I've noticed my face is less oily than it used to be when I was using this, you know? Um, da, 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 da. Okay. You're in UK. Okay. What time is it for you? For me, it's 9.39. Yes, it's 9.43 for me. Yeah, where's everyone from? Where are you guys from? <laughs> Tell me like what state or what province you're in. I am in Ontario, Canada. I am in Ontario, Canada, even though like 90% of my clients and my followers are all from the States. 
Um, but I do have a small percentage of you guys from Canada. And I always like saying like, obviously we're a US company, our products are manufactured in the States as well. Um, so it's gonna ship from our US head office. It's gonna be US pricing. If you're in Ontario, like Glenda, or you're in Manitoba, Katrina, if you're in Canada, it's gonna be Canadian pricing when you're on the website and it's gonna ship from Ottawa. So we have two different warehouses, um, Tennessee, Virginia, California. I was just in California this last year. Ohio, I've never been to Ohio. I have been to Connecticut. Atlanta, that is one place I do wanna go. I do wanna go to Atlanta. Um, yes, Lindsay's asking for makeup videos start to finish. Go to my main page, so click my profile picture. If you're not following me, you can subscribe and follow my account. I have so many videos, you guys, where I literally, and I'm, I don't speed them up, but I will do this in three minutes. So like you can do this face of makeup, like a highlighted and contoured look, bronzer, blush, foundation, concealer, the whole nine, whole nine yards in honestly three minutes. So if you're someone who one, maybe you don't have a ton of time, you're always on the go, you have a young family and you don't ever get like uninterrupted time in the morning. If that is you, or you're just someone who doesn't want to spend 20 minutes on an everyday face. Like maybe you do on a Friday night, but on a Tuesday when you're on your way to work, you're like, I'm not going to spend 20 minutes doing my makeup. <laughs> um, that can be, this is what that, that makeup is for. Um, you make this makeup look so easy. Sherry, it is easy. It honestly is easy. Um, it's really easy to do this makeup. It'll take you like, I always say it takes you like a, a few days, maybe a week max. But if you do this makeup for two to three times in a row, like in two to three mornings, you're going to understand where to place the product. What usually happens with clients is they over apply creams. Creams are highly pigmented, right? Like even our, our, like this is the color on my lips. In the tin, it looks really highly pigmented, right? So everything is highly pigmented. My bronzer is highly pigmented. My contour is highly pigmented. So less is more with creams, which is actually amazing because you're not going to feel like you're wearing anything. And you don't need to cake on a ton of layers in order to get the appropriate coverage. So they're highly pigmented. Less is more. A little goes a long way, which is why your tins too are going to last you way longer than your existing makeup. Hey, Julie. Um, so like your foundation, this foundation color, this foundation tin lasts me months longer than this ever did. This one tin, this one tin is $14. This was $40 and this lasts me longer. The reason being is because this is highly pigmented, less is more, but also with this type of routine, this I used to put all over my face. It had to go everywhere, right? Whereas my contour has coverage, my bronzer has coverage, my blush has coverage. So I don't have to put foundation underneath these colors and then start layering things on top. Or up here, I didn't have any foundation underneath here, down here. Like, so you actually are using, you're using less product, but you're also using less product too, because you're not putting it all over your face. Does that make sense? Um, I practiced a few times and it became so easy, says Cassie. Yes, that's exactly it. Do it like I say, do it every day for a week. If, I, if, I, if you do it every day for a week, you're going to be a pro. If you do it every day for three days, you're going to get the hang of it. And I, for anyone who does become a customer, I give you a little face map of where to place your product. I, um, I have like a short form video that's like a three minute video if you just need to literally watch something and then try it. I also have like a 30 minute video where like I slow it down and I explain the process for someone who really wants to um, go back and like make sure they're doing everything correctly. But honestly, the best way to learn is to just do it, girlfriend. I'm going to switch brush. Just do it. You're going to get the hang of it within three days. You're going to love how it feels. And then you're just going to freaking be obsessed with how simple it is. You will. You'll be obsessed with how, like this is my makeup bag. And this is a big one because <laughs> look at all of the, the options. For some people, their makeup bag is now this. And they still, this is one of my old palettes, but they still have, you know, three, four lip and cheek options. And this is their makeup. And it's TSA approved. Like even this is TSA approved. I have four trips planned this winter. Where am I going? I go to Utah in November. I go to Florida for three weeks in December over Christmas. Then I'm going to 
Puerto Vallarta, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico in February, and then I'm going to um, Texas in April. So like, how awesome is I will take my eyeshadow brush, which I don't even know where it is. I don't know where my eyeshadow brush is. Oh, because it's on the floor. Um, so I will just take my eyeshadow brush. <laughs> I will take these three brushes. The ones that you guys see me using every day and my eyeshadow brush. Clearly, I need to clean these two and look how clean this one is. And I'm just going to take my palette. That's my makeup bag. And like when I'm talking, like I'm going for three weeks, I'm going to events, I've got my eyeshadows, I've got my makeup, like everything I need. I look forward to doing my makeup now and I find reasons to do it. Yay, Cassie, that's exciting. I'm older and I have wrinkles. Sherry, you're going to love this makeup then. You would love, mature skin loves cream makeup, okay? Did I not explain that already? I probably didn't. I don't think I did. So as our skin matures, you get a lot of fine lines and wrinkles. I'm in my mid-30s, and my crow's feet are very pronounced. I have no Botox in my face. Um, so as our skin gets fine lines and wrinkles, and we're using a liquid or a powder, liquids and powders have setting agents in them. They sit on your skin and they dry, which is why I could actually just have my makeup not blended for so long because it's not going to dry and harden. Whereas this dries and hardens on your skin. Then when you have mature skin or fine lines and wrinkles, or you're just a normal person and you're not a robot like me and you smile and you start to get that creasing or your fine lines start to become pronounced. That is if you're using a liquid or a powder, that's when you start to see the separation and the creasing of your makeup. Whereas with cream, cream moves with your skin right? Like it moves with your skin. It doesn't accentuate those fine lines and wrinkles because it's not going to separate. This sets and dries and separates as your skin moves, whereas cream does not separate. So a lot of women with mature skin actually will switch to a cream product because of that reason alone. Um... Julie says, Sherry, I'm over 50 and I love it. I found less product is more. Yeah. Less product is more. You can get away with using such little, little cream um, because cream is so highly pigmented. So less is more, which you're not going to feel like you're wearing a ton of makeup and it's not going to accentuate those fine lines and wrinkles. And I just saw another color match come through. So that's awesome. I am actually going to hop off here and I have two or three things that I want to do. I'm also going to get back to those ladies that filled out the color match form. And then I have my nail appointment in 30 minutes. So I do have to run, but I, I'm going to fill out your color match form. So if you've already filled out my form while we were live here, um, I'm going to send you back your response. You can check out your email. I'll send it back right away. If you want to fill out my form, feel free to do that. I will color match you to your, your skin tone, specific colors like your foundation, your concealer, your contour, your bronzer, any color correctors. We talked a bit about color correction today. Um, I will recommend lip and cheek colors for you, but those are so fun and personal. Honestly, you can pick whatever you want. We've got so many different colors on our website and same with eyeshadows. Those, it's very much a personal preference in my opinion. Some people like sticking to the neutral palette. Some people like the bold colors. Um, so that's totally up to you. So I'll color match you and then you can build your own palette to your own size, your own budget, right? You might start a little bit smaller. I just had a tin in here and I don't know where it went. And um, eyeshadows so you can start a little smaller or start a little smaller again. It's totally up to you. I don't recommend the four palette. Only reason being is it doesn't include the bronzer. And I really think the sweet spot is when you have a few different lip and cheek colors. So generally my clients who do start with like the four palette and the brush, they're like, ah, I want more. I need a bigger palette. You were right. I need more options. So, um, but yeah, you can totally build it to your budget or you can shop the pre-built palettes and those offer a little extra savings as well. Um, but if you want to color match or you want to shop the pre-built palettes, it's all in the link in my bio or go to lovealwayslaura.com. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for being here. And as always, I appreciate it when you like, comment, and share on my videos. Let me know that you caught this replay and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.